A man who once led the state of South Carolina now helping lead his organization to a Nobel Peace Prize this week. Former governor and now executive director of the World Food Program, David Beasley, sat down with our Sophia Radebaugh. She explains why the work is far from over. I mean, this is unbelievable. David about, Beasley says uh, it was a day he'll never forget and a day he was surprised Nobel. happened. Somebody come busting in the door and said, Nobel Peace Prize. I'm like, wow, yeah, who won it, you know? And they said, well, we did. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. We won it. A Nobel Peace Prize was awarded to the World Food Program for the extensive work it's done to feed people during a global pandemic. Beasley is the organization's executive director and says it didn't come easy. He described the past few months as horrific. When COVID hit, uh, it literally compounded uh, globally, the uh, economic dynamics around the world, and so economic deterioration started taking place, supply chain disruption. Before COVID-19, he says there were 135 million people in the world on the brink of starvation, but now months in. We began to see hunger rate going up, severe hunger rate going up. So now we're looking at 270 million people marching to the brink of starvation. Even though the award is an honor, Beasley says the work they're doing is far from over. He says many day-to-day -day issues could be solved if they had more funding. First and foremost, as I would ask my South Carolina uh, friends, because uh, we love South Carolina, that's home. Uh, let's love our neighbor. Let's reach out to the poor and the needy, those that are vulnerable. and, and a helping hand. I think you'll find out that you'll be helped more uh, than who you're helping. And right here in South Carolina, Beasley says you don't have to be a government official or a millionaire to make a difference. In Greenville, Sophia Radeball, 7 News. For ways to fight the hunger problem right here in the upstate, you can find some resources on our website, WSPA.com.